I bought this Redgear MK881 Invader keyboard from Amazon when I was upgrading my PC. Now I am using this keyboard for like 6 months and here is my complete review. Should you buy this keyboard or not? Here is a quick video of unboxing that I shot with my smartphone. The Amazon packaging was not that good. There was no foam cover or cardboard box for extra protection. The main box of the keyboard was bent from the side. But anyways, the keyboard was intact and yeah, there was no damage. For the first time, the keyboard feels very heavy. This is because it has a thick plastic and also a metal body. It is better than any cheap plastic keyboards that generally have membrane keys. The wire is braided which makes it very sturdy. On the back you will get 4 rubber pads with 2 hard rubber sheets or stands and it also has grooves to manage the cable. Overall for the first time this keyboard feels very premium on hand. The USB connector is gold plated which makes the input speed very fast. It has scaled clicky blue mechanical gaming switches. The keyboard comes with pre-built RGB presets. You will also get other presets. I will show you how to change the presets in few moments. The keycap puller is also provided with the keyboard, you will find it inside the box. You can use it or use your hand to remove the keys, it's up to you. I recommend using the key puller because it is gentle and much efficient than pulling keys with your bare hands. Essentially it is used to remove the keys so that they can be cleaned or replaced. Now talking about daily usage, I use this keyboard from gaming to editing videos, the force required to press a key is minimum and it is very comfortable to type for hours. The response is very fast, so you can play AAA games, edit videos and also do your work. I bought it for 2600, if it's not in sale it will cost around 2900 and it is the cheapest and best entry level mechanical keyboard that you can get. Also it has 7 million click lifetime which is amazing. The floating cap design gives you the best distance for each pressure. The Redgear MK881 Invader comes with superior anti-ghosting which supports up to full key presses simultaneously. There is also the windows key lock which will disable the windows pop-up whenever you are playing games or editing videos. So forget about accidental windows key presses. The LED lights are placed under individual keys which makes it bright at night and also you can read each and every word on the key in the darkest room. Comparing this keyboard with the Cosmic Byte mechanical keyboard which cost around 3000 rupees, the LED lighting in that Cosmic Byte keyboard is too bright and all over the place. Whereas in Redgear MK881, the LEDs are soothing to eyes and it is an organized mess. Albeit the colors can't be changed because each row has its own permanent colors, still the Red Gear keyboard is more sophisticated, durable and the best among other keyboards in this price range. Now coming to the presets, there are 6 preset light modes, 3 preset alternative modes and 3 customizable modes. First you have to press the function key and then these lettered keys. You will get a full guide with the keyboard so don't worry. I personally use the wave preset because it is much easier to look at and looks beautiful and less distracting. The keyboard uses scale blue switches. I am using this keyboard for almost 6 months and I can say it is better than all other mechanical keyboards at this price range. I am not talking about the super high end mechanical keyboards which cost around 12,000 and so on. I am talking about the cheapest one. You can close your eyes and go for it if you want. Now I would recommend JDMX switch 
if you have a budget more than 4000 rupees otherwise under 3000 the kale blue switches are the best thing you can get on a mechanical keyboard so we have talked about some of the advantages here is a disadvantage if you have a roommate then this might be an issue because at night the sound can be disturbing for other people if you have a roommate or if your computer is in the living room or in the bedroom then at night it might be a problem because the clicky sound is a little bit distracting at night I live in my room alone so it is fine for me. The clicky sound gives an extra vibe and to be honest somehow or the other I bought this keyboard for the clicky sound. Don't judge me. The key caps are ABS double injection molded. Obviously it's plastic but very durable. The font on the keyboard is perfect for gamers because it is futuristic and looks cool. As I mentioned earlier the LEDs are right under the switches and the light will glow through the letter cutouts. At night, it is very easy to read each and every letter and numbers. The fantastic lighting system is what makes this keyboard different from other brands. Point to be noted, you cannot customize these LEDs through software, but you will get plenty of commands and presets that are just great and honestly, I don't have any complaints. You can also purchase this keypad with the keyboard. I will add the link of the extended mouse pad in the description below, so do check it out. Although it is expensive, but it does the job well and with the LED light all around the mouse pad, it looks extraordinary. The LED light can be changed by clicking this button. There are single colors and also RGB mode that will change colors automatically and the transitions between colors is out of this world. Must have accessory if you are building a gaming setup. Worth mentioning is it's a dust magnet. If you have an air blower then it would be very easy to clean it but you cannot clean it with a cloth. If you want to go an extra bit you can remove all the keys to clean it. But I won't suggest that because it will take a long time, so I don't recommend it. I hope I have answered all your questions. If you want to ask me anything about this keyboard, comment below. I will definitely love to answer that. Thanks for watching. This is Bro Smart, and I will see you guys in my next video.